The Department of Streets and Sanitation, with the cooperation of Standard Equipment Company, are proud to present an operator training video for Pelican Street Sweepers, focusing on the operator's daily maintenance practices. The City of Chicago's fleet is comprised of four types of Pelican models. Pelican P, Pelican SE, Pelican NP, and Pelican NS. When an operator's shift ends, it is his responsibility to clean and maintain the city's equipment. The next several videos will display the areas where dirt builds up that will need to be cleaned. That's where I put my stick all the time, putting that stuff up in there. Down in there between the conveyors right there. You got the, that's where the, uh, the piston up and down. Sorry. Just a water guy, End of shift maintenance. Should take no longer than 30 minutes to complete. The operator pulls past the hydrant, aligning the rear of the sweeper with the hydrant. Lifts and tilts the hopper forward. Always installs the safety support from the outside of the vehicle. City of Chicago's hydrant procedure. Eliminate contaminants entering the system by flushing the hydrant first. Before installing the hydrant hose to the hydrant adapter, inspect and secure the strainer screen and gasket. Before activating the hydrant to fill the water tank, straighten the hose first and then hand tighten the coupler to the hydrant. Place a towel over the hydrant connection to minimize additional spray. Activate the lower roller washout. Note, depending on the model year, the option may be in a different location. Come back down. And go from one side. And now go to the other. Water tank overflow is indicated by this. Turn the hydrant valve in a counterclockwise rotation. Pinch the hose to relieve the water pressure and disconnect from the four and a half inch adapter plate. Note, leave the adapter plate on the hydrant. Next, the hydrant hose is laid out flat in the gutter to drain and then folded properly within the storage area. Before washing begins, remove any large debris from the conveyor area. Following the City of Chicago's prescribed washdown procedure, 
using the provided 2 inch hose with connector and pipe. The operator connects to the 4.5 inch hydrant adapter to begin the cleaning process. Wash the conveyor belt front side. As well as the back side of the conveyor belt. Most of the dirt ends up in the lower roller and bearings. Make a good effort to clean to prevent sweeper downtime. Proper clean of the dirt shoe and extension rubbers. Other areas to clean? Okay. Reduce the hydrant pressure. Cleaning the engine's radiator and cooling system at low pressure to avoid damage. Turn off hydrant, replace hydrant cap, and store wash supplies. Yeah, you're right though, the lower roller wash out. Uh, Manual lubrication is necessary for lube points not included within the auto lube system. For instance, you must remove the shear pin to lubricate the universal joint. I'm going to pull out the shear pin. And I'm just. You want to get a picture of where it is in there? It's right in there. You got to line it up. See it? Got it. Okay. Other lube areas include the jack shaft bearing. Hello. Hey. Got it? Yep. Okay. 
the guide wheel pivot. Ready? Yep. Huh. Grease even goes in this one. And the guide wheel hubs. Rating. Right. Go left first. Get kind of your. Okay. Got it. Remove the water filter and clean or replace the cartridge. <laughs> Perfect. Lubricate the housing gasket to make it easier to remove the next time. Like this. Yeah, take the grease. Manicure the brooms by removing wire and debris. Always clean the inside of the cab to maintain a safe work environment. Lastly, spin dry the conveyor belt to prevent the belt from sticking. Then work toward the back and we'll turn the hose to the husband down. The hose down and do the... The radiator? Yeah. Remove the safety prop from the outside of the vehicle. Lower the hopper. The operator returns to his base, maneuvering safely and cautiously through traffic.